Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. And in this episode, we're still back on the haven here, uh, trying to drill the hole through the lead for the center board, uh, for the pin that holds the center board in, into the boat. Uh, this is a 5 8 diameter hole through six inches of lead. So it's a little tricky uh, to, to get that done and uh, I've been a little nervous about attempting it because there's great potential for screwing up. But uh, anyway, uh, had some good success with it and we'll, that's what this episode's about. We'll concentrate on getting that hole drilled. If you've been watching the, the uh, canoe build, uh, we're still working on that, but I'm actually just giving the epoxy several days to cure on the outside of the canoe, and we will be back to that project very soon. Um, but meanwhile, we've got to get this boat in the water this year, so there's a lot of little jobs that I'm trying to get done. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you've been watching the Haven build for the last 116 episodes, welcome back. Uh, we're glad you're here. So anyway, well, let's jump in and see how we do this. All right, so I'm creating a drilling jig that I'm gonna use and hold up against the lead keel so I hopefully can drill a, a straight, true 90 degree in uh, hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and go straight down here and try to drill out this piece of wood. So every once in a while, I'm just stopping and looking at it, see if it's right straight up and down. I'm looking at it from a couple different angles. Yeah, we're, we're right straight up and down now. All right, now, this is not the bit that I need to go into the lead. It's not quite big enough, but we got to drill a 5 8 hole. So I'm not interested in trying to do that all in one, uh, one shot because lead's gonna be hard to get through. So I'm gonna go with the smaller bit first. So now we've got this and we should be, should be exactly perpendicular. And I'm not even sure what size bit this is. Um, looks like half inch. So if I can get through the lead with the half inch and get straight through it, um, then we'll come back with the with the five eighths so that we can put our, our bronze bolt through the center board or through the through the lead keel. Okay, so the next thing is, where does this hole go? So, we're back over here on the plans, and we haven't looked at these for a long time, but um, we know that 1 8 inch equals 1 inch. And if we come down here and look, we can see right here is where the 5 8 diameter bronze pin I measured this a little bit ago, and it is three inches up, so it's three eighths, and it's four eighths here, so it's a half inch from here and three inches from the bottom. So we know that the front of the centerboard trunk is here. So we'll just measure three inches and four inches on the lead, and that's where we're going to put it. Okay, so I've done a couple of things here. Um, 
I've got my block on here that's going to be my guide to keep the um, drill bit going in straight. I took a level and I took a measurement off the bottom of the keel and I'm just off the bubble off to the left. So I've got this thing mounted on here now to where when I stick the drill bit in this guide hole, I am off, I'm just, I'm just touching the line on the left side. So I feel very confident now that I'm going straight in. So we should be able to um, start with the drill and go in there. Now, uh, this is gonna be the smaller bit. This is a half inch. I'm gonna go all the way through with this first and then we'll go in and enlarge it up to the 5.8. I've got some water here, uh, just, just a cup of water. I'm not gonna drill very much. I drill just a little bit in onto the lead, pull it out and, uh, and cool it off in the water. I don't want to get the bit hot inside the lead because if the lead starts to melt at all, I run the risk of the bit seizing up and getting stuck, which would be horrible. All right, let's get the bit loaded up. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going into the lead. I didn't have the camera running, uh, but this is working good. We're, we're cooling the bed off in some water. And we think we're about an inch and a half in. My guide's working real well. Take your time, just take your time. side. Yeah, we're through one side because the lead's now dropping out of the centerboard slot. Cool it off. Don't get in a hurry. Don't get in a hurry. That's cool, and I'm not having to bring it all the way out. It's just dropping down through the slot. Let's cool it off. Cool it off. Take your time. Yeah, see, it's not hot at all. gonna get stuck. Oh, that was scary. Uh, I better wait a minute. I'll just let the lead cool off on the inside there. I'm letting this hole, this lead cool off on this side because it's trying to grab onto the shaft. It's 
let it cool for a minute. I'm curious how far in I am. I've just got this little marker that easily fits in the hole. And that's going all the way into there. So I just hold that. We're, we're right at five inches, five inches in, and uh, the whole width of the center of the, of the ballast, lead ballast, just shy of six inches. So I'm gonna say we've probably got seven eighths to go. It'd be a bad time to get this thing stuck in here though. And this power drill, it doesn't have a reverse feature. I don't think. It doesn't. You know what, I'm gonna put some WD-40 on there. Okay, so um, I went and I looked at the other side and it looks like we're exactly four inches back from the slot. So uh, four and aft were, were perfect. Um, when I measured from the keel up to the center of the hole on the other side is about two and seven eighths. So I'm thinking, oh no, we didn't come straight through. Uh, when I measure here though, and come to the center of the hole, It's two and seven eighths. So we, we missed where we were supposed to be. The center of the hole was supposed to be three inches up from the bottom. But we only missed it by an eighth of an inch. So I'm not worried about that at all because where I put the hole in the center board will just align up with, with this hole. Now, the only other thing is uh, I gotta come back at this now with the five eighths and, and get a 5 8 inch hole through here because this one's just half inch. So anyway, the, the hard part's over. We got it straight and it's straight uh, this way and straight this way. So I'm really pretty happy with that. Quite honestly, this has been one of those things that I've been kind of nerve wracked about for a long time. Oh yeah, something else. This piece of wood here that I used as my guide uh, this was actually uh, a piece of the mask that I had cut off and I'd saved it and I don't know, I just thought it was kind of fun to use this. So anyway, just use what you got, you know. I should probably throw more things away than I do. So when we last left, I was trying to drill this hole out for the centerboard pin and that's got to be a 5 8 diameter. And I got some of it going, but I didn't have a bit that was long enough to go all the way through. So I went to Harbor Freight, and lo and behold, look at this deal. They had three bits in a pack, 25 inches long, and the biggest one is 5 8 exactly what I needed. And this whole deal was like $13. So awesome. So anyway, I'm anxious to get that out and... Go ahead and get that hole drilled all the way through. Nothing like having the right tool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.